Chris fell in love with Sarah at the tender age of 14, back when he was a crazy rebellious wee boy. Um, And sadly for Chris, Sarah wasn't interested. (laughs) Years passed by and they had both moved on with their lives. Chris now melts metal and sticks it together. (laughs) Pretty much all heroes do it. And Sarah cuts fabric to make wedding dresses. In the spring of 2014, their paths crossed again. Chris hasn't stopped doing everything to win Sarah over ever since. May God bless you both going forward into this new time of your lives. When I was a little, couldn't wait to fly. Dealing with Chris is like a vaccination. <laughs> Painful, but very necessary. <laughs> But seriously, Chris is awesome, and we love him as a brother. He's a good mate, and yeah, we wish you guys the best. There's one little story that I'll start with, because it was on the way to the church and I was in the car with my daughter, the soon-to-be Mrs. Postuma. She really was in charge. She was telling Pete, the driver, where to go, how to get there, got to the church. She's all cool. Alma, lovely old dear from the church, opened the doors. We walked through the doors and this calm, collective girl started to shake like a food processor next to me. (laughs) And all the way up the aisle, right up to the point where I put her hand in Chris's. I don't know after that, because I'd left. Um, (laughs) So um, I'm assuming she settled down, and she looks really calm now. And with that, I'd like you to charge your glasses and a toast to the beautiful bride and the dashing groom, Sarah and Chris. Chris and Sarah, you'll get many wedding gifts today, but the very best gift that we can give to you is our love and our best wishes as you go forward in your life together. It is our joy to be with you as you celebrate your love today. Sarah, ever since we were 14 years old, I knew you were something special to me. I promise to go on any adventure with you, whether it's moving to Auckland, walking to the park when I don't feel like it, or dragging you along to a motocross event. (laughs) I'm so thankful to call you my lady for the rest of our days. I look forward to a life filled with laughter and adventure with you. Chris, as I stand before you today, there's not a single place in this world that I'd rather be. And as I stand here and I look at you, I don't just see my husband, I see my partner in crime, my number one supporter, my best friend, and my entire future. When I look at our future, I see a tiny flat followed by a beautiful house with a perfect doorway for our kids' jolly jumpers. <laughs> I see many dirt bikes followed by many a and visits. But most importantly, I see you and I see the love that we will share. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. I'm so excited to be your wife and I cannot wait to see where the future takes us. I therefore pronounce you to be husband and wife. And I invite you to kiss as a sign of this new relationship. Michael and I became friends in year eight, and as soon as I found out that Michael had a little sister that was the same age as my little sister, (laughs) we started to scheme. We would love to congratulate the both of you. Um, Chris, I am very proud of my sister's choice and her husband. You're an outstanding bloke, and yeah, I'm sure you'll treat her right. Yeah, T and Chris would be pretty chuffed right now. (laughs) Chris, you would lay down your life for Sarah. 
You'd give anything for her happiness and her health. And I'm so proud of who you are and just how big your heart is. Sarah, you've always had Chris's back. You would stand up for him every time. You love him exactly the way he is, all craziness and heart. I want you to know how much I love you both and that I'm here for you as a best friend and your third wheel. May you have beautiful Dutch Kiwi hybrid children. <laughs> and here's to the rest of our lives together. <laughs>